Hey, how's it going? Well, I was watching, or starting to watch, a uh, Prince of Queens video. I just started watching it. But I was very irritated at just even, like, what he has in the, in the title here. A lot of people have been asking me if I understand why exactly gay men dislike Donald Trump so much, despite being the first pro-LGBT Republican president that seemingly hasn't implied in any way that he might be bad for the gay male community was working on a, on a, just opened up a notepad and was going to um, make a comment, and I still may make have this as a comment on his video, depending on what he says, uh, you know, by the time I actually finish the video, but, um, yeah, Trump holding up a rainbow flag and when asked about gay marriage stating, it's irrelevant because it was already settled, it's law, doesn't mean he actually supports gay marriage or any gay rights of any kind. Him holding up a rainbow flag was virtue signaling, nothing more. Trump rescinded the Fair Pay and Safe Workplaces order, which required contractors have anti-discrimination policies that cover LGBT. Trump believes states should have the right to pass anti-gay legislation like what passed in North Carolina. Now, something I want to point out is how Trump uh, pledged that he would sign the First Amendment Defense Act. And uh, what this is about, and I've made a video about this before, but I guess I didn't go enough into detail and a lot of people are saying, well, you know, it's not really what, you say, what people are saying it is. Well, I'm going to try to go into uh, the problems with this. Let me first say... What's at the bottom of this? It says, defines person as any person regardless of rel religious affiliation, including corporations and other entities, regardless of for-profit or non-profit status. So, just, just take, uh, you know, soak that in just a little bit here. Soak this bottom part in just a little bit. And uh, so now let's, uh, let's go into the text, the rest of the text here, okay? First Amendment Defense Act prohibits the federal government from taking discriminatory action against a person on the basis that such a person believes or acts in accordance with a religious belief or moral conviction that uh, one marriage is or should be recognized as the union of one man and one woman or two, sexual relations are properly reserved to such a marriage. The basis that such person, person, remember person, is this, okay, believes or acts in accordance with the religious belief or moral conviction of the following that we, we said here, right? You know, has a, a, a religious moral conviction that is literally an anti-gay stance okay this right here okay this is an anti-gay stance this states that gay people shouldn't be able to get married and that it's wrong to have any sexual relations unless you are married okay it 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 it, it that belief when you put those things together it's hard to, to, to it, it would be very, someone would have to really stretch things in order to claim that that is not an anti-gay position. A company could have a policy that says that they don't want to serve someone who is gay. And they could say, well, this is in accordance to my religious belief or moral convictions. And again, this isn't just a person like we normally think of it, it's, it includes, you know, corporate personhood. And it doesn't matter if it's a for-profit or non-profit, right? So, not only would this make it so it's no longer illegal to discriminate to begin with, but this makes it so none of these companies or schools or any of that could lose tax-exempt status out of these things and if they are receiving money from the government and it is found out that they have those sorts of beliefs or policies they won't lose that government funding so this means that 
Not only can people discriminate for those kinds of, of reasons, but they can get government money. They can get taxpayer money. This is incredibly messed up. But let, let's go further into this, okay? So, define a discriminatory action as any federal government action to discriminate against a person with such, belie with such beliefs or convictions, including a federal government action to alter the federal tax treatment of cause any tax penalty or payment to be assessed against or deny, delay, or revoke certain tax exemptions of any such person, disallow a deduction of any charitable contribution made to or by such person, withhold, reduce, exclude, terminate, or otherwise deny any federal grant, contract, subcontract, cooperative agreement, loan, license, certification, accreditation, employment, or similar position or status from or to such person, or withhold, reduce, exclude, terminate, or otherwise deny any benefit under a federal benefit program. Think about this. Think about the ramifications of this. Requires the federal government to consider to be accredited, licensed, or certified for purposes of federal law or any person who would be accredited, licensed, or certified for such purposes but for a determination that the person believes or acts in accordance with such a religious belief or moral conviction. Permits a person to assert an actual or threatened violation of this act as a claim or defense in a judicial or administrative proceeding and to obtain compensatory damages or other appropriate relief against the federal government authorizes the Attorney General to bring an action to enforce this act against the Government Accountability Office or an establishment in the executive branch other than the U.S. Postal Service or the Postal Regulatory Commission that is not an executive department, military department, or government corporation. And again, defines person as any person regardless of religious affiliation, including corporations and other entities, regardless of for-profit or non-profit status. Trump making a pledge to sign H.R. 2802, the First Amendment Defense Act, is him pledging to do something very anti-gay. <laughs> 